All right. Check out this 2007 Les Paul Goddess. Shout out to my friend Austin at Trogly Guitar Show and all the troglodytes out there. Uh, I know he's a big fan of these and he consulted, I consulted with him on this particular guitar and decided to pick it up. Uh, it was on Reverb out of Sam Ash, New York, and they were pretty good to deal with, but firm on their prices, a little bit of wiggle room. And this one has a aftermarket bridge. I don't know the brand. I haven't pulled it off yet, but if anybody knows what, what brand that is, uh, let me know. It's definitely an upgrade off of the uh, non-adjustable wraparound that came with it stock from Gibson. Not sure if you can see too well with lighting in the camera. It's it's used and it, it's starting to get some finish checking. You can see there some checking. It's definitely a player's guitar, but as such, it's it's in pretty good shape. And look, you can see the pickups are disfigured there. Uh, I I'm ordering some chrome pickup rings as a upgrade. I'll keep those so I can keep everything that's original as well as a uh, chrome poker chip selector switch cover. And you can see too the cool colored open coil pickups. Just a really pretty guitar. Uh, they came with an ebony fretboard which needs cleaned up. I'll do that when I change the strings here pretty soon and of course the really awesome feature of the colored Gibson headstock logo which I think is really neat same color as the the rose burst that we have so there's there's some wear on the guitar overall as I said it's been played. It needs a polishing. I'll, I'll do that soon. It's got the nice strap locks that can also be actually used. And yeah, there's some there's some dings on the bottom there, but not the end of the world. And the reason why I got it for pretty good deal is the headstock has been cracked and repaired you can see that pretty good here and it sticks out a little bit there it's not you can feel that edge but you don't feel it when you're playing it your hand doesn't go up that far and it seems pretty solid so yeah I'm wondering if anybody knows how many goddesses were made, and then also how many of the Roseburst goddesses were made. That would be interesting to me to know that. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this so far. It's really lightweight. It's a little smaller than a uh, standard Les Paul. And I think it's strung up with nines right now because it's really easy to play. And I've really been enjoying playing it. I, I sit down with it, and I have a hard time putting it down because it just has a really good feel to it, to me. And uh, it's light. It's chambered quite a bit, and it's only like seven, seven and a half pounds. Uh, but I was really taken by the, the look. And when I got it and held it, I was like, wow, this really is much lighter than a, than a standard Les Paul. These are the 498, 490 um, pickups. They sound pretty good. You can dial them in pretty well. And they're not my favorite Gibson pickup, but it'd be hard to replace those because of that unique look and the, just the way that it goes with the guitar. So yeah, it's uh, really happy with it. And um, probably be keeping that 2007 Les Paul Goddess.